And we start today with news out of our New York newsroom with Chris Fargo. Chris, what's happening? Jesse, a handcuffed Harvey Weinstein laughs as he is booked and charged with rape. Disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein looked carefree and smug on Friday as he was booked and charged on multiple counts, including rape in the first degree, rape in the third degree, and committing a criminal sexual act. The 66-year-old arrived to a police station just blocks from his former office around 7.30 a.m., smirking at the crowd as he sauntered into the station. He brought along with him biography of Rodgers and Hammerstein, the Broadway legends, as well as director Elia Kazan. It was Kazan whose testimony in front of the House Un-American Committee back in 1952 outed communists in Hollywood. The books were gone an hour later, however, when he emerged from the precinct in handcuffs. He could still be seen laughing, however, as he was taken to a waiting SUV by two detectives from the Special Victims Unit. A short while later, he arrived at criminal court, where he was paraded around and looked to be in a daze, with the Daily Mail.com reported that at one point, he looked around and exclaimed, wow. It was a brief hearing, with Weinstein agreeing to surrender his passport, post $1 million cash bail, and wear a GPS bracelet. He was ordered to remain in New York or Connecticut as he awaits trial for allegedly assaulting two women. The first, Lucia Evans, claimed she was forced to perform oral sex on Weinstein in 2004 at his office. The second, who was asked to remain anonymous, claimed she was held against her will and raped by the mogul in a hotel room back in 2013. A third victim, Rose McGowan, appeared on Megyn Kelly today and said she was thrilled to see him in handcuffs. Weinstein plans to enter a plea of not guilty to all charges.